Ahead of the enumeration of households is the need for us to do the chalking and listing of structures. The chalking means that we go around the country and all structures that are different levels of completion and would potentially um, house persons, we ensure that these structures are chalked. The reason why we do the chalking before the listing is to ensure that we don't miss any household. So we go through a process which we call the serpentine approach to ensure that each structure within an enumeration area is chalked. Once that chalking is done, we go back to the structure and list the structure. What that means is that you take basic information on the structure in terms of what is the type of the structure, what is the level of completion of the structure, what is the use of the structure. This will give us some information that later on will feed into our understanding of the housing situation that we have in the country. In addition to that, during the listing exercise, we collect basic information on the households in the structure. So we would want to know the, 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 the information about the head of the household, i.e. the name of the person of the household, the contact details of the person of the household, the number of persons in there, and by sex. This information is also helpful for us during the enumeration stage when we start counting persons in Ghana. In Ghana, the process of counting is by what we call the de facto approach, and this simply means that you are counting persons who spend the night in Ghana. Other, in other countries, what they do is what, what we call the de jure approach, which simply means that instead of restricting yourself to persons who spend the night in Ghana, you do persons who usually spend the night in a household. So it's the de facto as against the DJ approach. Fortunately for us as a country, we deploy both technologies, but the final figure that we put out there is based on people who spent the night in Ghana. But once you go into our report, you get further information on um, those who usually spend the night in a household um, in Ghana. So we, we are able to provide um, both information. So this exercise is going to run from the 13th throughout to the 27th of um, June. June, when we celebrate the census night. But we divide this phase, that is from the 13th to the 27th, in two phases. The actual listing work, we expect that it will be done over a seven-day period. So that would be from, from the, the 13th, 13th to about the 20th, the 20th of June. Yes, of June. All right. 